Okay, back to it. Jessica! Oh my god! Oh my god! Jess! Jess! Hit shortcut. There she is right there. Jess! No! <laughs> Hop down. Hurry, hurry, hurry. I do like the new music here. Come on. I'm gonna keep going uh, the quick way. Slide down. Dangerous. Okay, cool. Make sure it's Jessica. There is nice. Okay. Fortune totem. Jessica. Jess. No. Jessica! Oh my god! Jess! Jess! Are you okay? Help! And there she goes. Jessica! What the fuck?
Nice leap. Mmm, safe. Oh. Whoops. We already lost track of Jessica, so I mean, might as well just, instead of doing the quick route, do a safe route. Okay. Okay. Climb. That's the, uh... I was like, it wouldn't have worked regardless. Okay. Well, now he lost the gun. Let's see what we got here. Is there nothing down this path? Hey, you know what? How much went about this is where the uh, one of the totems originally was. like in the original game. Nothing so far here. Oh, what's this? Safety first. Yeah. That's our motto. Mm -hmm. December 12, 1951, to Mr. Henry Caldwell. For the attention of the Blackwood Bragg Mining Crew, subsequent to recent inspection, I am pleased to report that the Blackwood Bragg Mine and associated facilities have exceeded all safety code requirements stipulated in Alberta Provincial Law certification forthcoming. We commend our diligent engine We commend our diligent engineering and maintenance staff for ensuring the well being of our valued employees. Please keep up the good work in the knowledge that the company puts the, in your safety first. Yours sincerely, Jefferson Bragg, the Blackwood Bragg Mining Company. Mr. Bragg, I was most surprised to receive such a glowing report on the state of this facility and felt compelled to reply to the contrary. These mines are poorly maintained and dangerous. They are flooded throughout, countless stalls are rotting, equipment is old, and wiring is faulty. The men get sick down there at, a, at an alarming rate, which is only made worse by the meager supply of rations. Hell, most of us aren't even convinced the mine is clear of critters. God only knows what's down there. Perhaps your sanatorium up the mountain might show us the care your mining company is singularly failing to provide down here. Henry Caldwell, chief of the Blackwood Mine Blasting Crew. That's a dead end over here, but we have at least... Yep, we do. And so do we at least have a totem? What's this totem? Hunger, I think. Yep.
just like a little like outhouse for this dude here. So if you remember, we have a couple different instances happening now. Jesus. We have um, Mike and Jessica, Jessica getting lost. We have uh, Chris and Ashley um, both getting uh, knocked out, which is what this is picking up too. And then we have um, we have Emily and Matt and uh, their encounter with the deer. So far, the only person that hasn't like had something happen to her yet is uh, Sam. Chris, Washington Lodge, 2241. Ash. Ash. Not good. Not good at all. Is that our coin purse? I think that's just a reflection of the flashlight. He's like, is that something to pick up over there? <laughs> um, so we have this door here, but I want to make sure that we've looked around this room yet. Obviously. I think the only thing was uh, Ash's coin purse. Yeah, I think that was the only thing here. Would you fucking... God, the, um... I don't know if it's the redesign or just, like, the the way it, like, it's designed or whatever, but... For some reason, like, the characters, like, get stuck for, like, a split second and stuff. For, like, absolutely no reason. Blood splatter. No. Ash. So I believe in the uh, the prologue, he could have come out here, and um, this would be where one of the totems was. Now that you're out here, obviously there's nothing and stuff. Ashley. You can only get those uh, those totems like within the chapter itself. So. Ashley. Also, I do plan on doing a more epic Mickey uh, on the channel again soon. I just wanted to get like um, deep into uh, the Guns of Dawn actually? remake. It's not a super long game as long as you know what you're doing. I'm seeking turns of Guns of Dawn, obviously. Well, this seems like it might be the right path. Um, let's go over here. We have two different areas we can check here. Oh, shit. Oh, you mother. What in the hell? Who would do this? 
that's where that uh that clown scare me thing uh comes into play um from the the dr hill interviews um i think it would have been what scarecrows was the other option so i think it would have been a scarecrow if you didn't do the other one oh shit oh pig's head Part of the Mystery Man clue line. We have to find 32 clues in total. Well, it's a good thing I came over here for that. I don't think I'm going to be able to find all the clues for uh, at least one of them. But if I can find most of the clues in the game, then that'd be great. Ash. Ash. Okay, so we have a... Ash. Up there is obviously where we got to go. We have another totem here. Okay. Um yeah. Ashley. Ash. So obviously we go in there. Check and make sure that there's no other collectibles or anything. Doesn't seem like it. I think back there would have been like, um, again, like in their location, in their original location for a totem. If he hadn't yet, uh, you know, play the original game and stuff, that would have been where I think one of the totems would be. If I remember correctly. I could be wrong. Ashley! Hey. Uh, God damn it! That made me jump. You son of a bitch. Uh, I'm coming, Ash. Just, uh, just keep talking to me. What happened? Ashley, I'm gonna get you out of this. Don't worry. I'm really scared, Chris. <laughs> Hurry. <laughs> Chris, are you there? Hello. <gasps> and thank you all for joining oh my God, me. God, wake up. Tonight, what? We're gonna what is this? A little experiment. For your pets. What the hell's going on? Now for this experiment, I don't know. I don't know. I don't we'll need the know. cooperation of our two test subjects. Joshua and Ashley. What? Oh my god. Well, we're gonna need one more brave participant to help decide which subject will live and which will die. Oh, no. oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, Chris! Oh, Get us out of this. here! Let please, me down from here, you maniac! Please, 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 everyone calm down. It's all very simple. So you sort of don't understand. Obviously, if you played the game, you know who the killer is. Or the quote-unquote killer, sorry. The psychopath, rather. So, 
you know how they explain it, right? How that person is able to be the killer and everything. How is it possible if In this scenario, sorry, I was I was debating whether or not I wanted to talk about it because like I know like there's a lot of people out there like that haven't played it. Well, you know, like five percent people of the population have probably played it. Um But how is it possible that in this scenario that Josh again I was debating if I wanted to talk about this, that Josh of all people, like obviously he's a psychopath, uh how is it possible that if it's a fake body, how is the body like able to move around and stuff? Is what I don't get. Is it because like of how like close up to the fake body that he is, or like how how does that work? Little things like that, like it makes you question the science of some things. But I mean, I'm I'm just here to have a, a good time with a uh, a classic game. So Christopher, you will find a lever placed directly in front of you. All you have to do. Is choose who you will say. Get me out! Shit! Shit! No! Oh. Okay, okay, okay. This is gonna be okay. Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! Dude, buddy, let's just oh think God. about this for a minute. You can't let me die. Just, just give me a second. I, 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 uh, what? I can't think straight. Just... Huh? Unless maybe they changed it. Oh, Please, no. you can clearly see that, like, right behind him too. There's obviously no spot where his head would fit. I mean, obviously, like they're trying to hide it and stuff, so you don't know that it's him. But like, how would that explain like certain stuff that would happen? I'm not even gonna question it. Maybe they, uh, maybe they changed it. Obviously not. I'm coming, Ash. I'm, I'm gonna get you down. I'm letting you down. Shh, shh, stop, please. Come on, come on, let's let's, let's get no. you down. Come on, we're gonna get you out of here. No. We gotta go, okay? Should look for the others. Mike and Jess are off 69ing each other, and who knows where Sam is. I think she's in the lodge. Fine. Fine, you're right. Get everyone else together, but if there's a maniac running around, I think we need to get some help, too, right? Not just wait around. But what about... Why are we still talking about this? Let's go!
Hi. Things are getting pretty tense <laughs> up there, aren't they? Is the night going the way you hoped it would? No, no, it's not. Hmm. I see. And you think that these poor people are getting what they deserve? Mm, do what do you want? I'm trying to help you in this game you're playing. You understand that it's not good for you. It's not good for anyone. And I can't say that you've been very charitable in the way you play. He used the charity thing against me. Problem. It all comes down to this. Can you really tell the difference anymore? I doubt it. Chapter 5 Dread. Six hours until dawn. Jesus. That's not good. That's really not good. I'm probably just walking around in a tank top in the middle of the fucking snow. I guess it doesn't phase him. <laughs> Plot twist, he's related to Elsa. Once again being thorough here. Would like to find most of the totems. I did watch a video uh, earlier today. Um, there was, like I said, a little bit ago, there was a, um, a totem that I missed in the prologue. Um, that foreshadows the deaths of uh, Beth and Hannah. Speaking of totems. Weird. Danger totem. So let me check here. So we only found two danger totems so far. We missed another death totem, I guess, somewhere. Um, we missed another fortune. We're missing two death and two and one fortune totem. But, so far, for most of the other totems, we've at least found them in order. And, like I said, obviously, like, the, you find them from, like, bottom, bottom of the totem to the top of the totem. So, you can't obviously, like, you know, find, like, you know, 
say you found like you know the second one first and then you're not going to find the first one second it has to be one two you know what i mean so there's like a certain like pattern to like how you find them obviously they're all randomized like you know like they're not all going to be like you know one one set one collection of totems isn't going to be like you know like the only one you find until you finish it it's like you know it's randomized so it'll be like you know you find one for this totem and then one for the next totem you know what i mean awesome why wouldn't i end up in the creepiest place on planet earth condemned it is deemed unlawful for any person to use or occupy this structure forthwith date june 12th 1954. I never got a chance to play like the uh, the pseudo like sequel, um, Russia Blood, or um, even like the prequel, which is I think it's called the Inpatient, um, because both of those were uh, VR exclusive games, um, and I I do have a VR headset and stuff, but I don't really use it as often anymore. I would like to actually probably use it more and stuff. Um, maybe one day I'll even invest in the the VR two, just to have like an updated like VR and stuff. But yeah, I do uh, have a, a VR peripheral and stuff. It's just a matter of like you know, eventually going back to it and stuff, and like you know, getting a feel for it. I probably missed something else, by the way, out there. Because there was another, like, hatch thing I could have opened up. I wanted to be able to go back outside real quick and see. Yeah, the door's still open, so... As long as it's slamming my face. I just want to check out this hatch over here. Okay, so we have two different entrances then. Good to know. So then, obviously you have something up there to interact with. So that's set up there.
It's like no collectibles or anything. gonna fall on his face any minute now. Okay, yeah, so it all leads to the same place. So then let's actually start looking around for uh, clues and stuff then. Memorandum, date 4th January 1952, to sanatorium staff from Dr. Roosh. Response to rescue of minors. Be advised the minor rescue is due to be completed tomorrow, 5th of January. As the number of surviving minors is unknown, prepare all beds in Ward A. The press shall be in attendance tomorrow. We must be seen to, we must be seen to be giving the minors the best possible care. Note that press visitors are not to be allowed into the psychiatric ward. Failure in this regard will reflect badly upon Mr. Bragg and the sanatorium as a whole and shall result in the on-the-spot dismissal. I need a nose pack. Those guys smell awful. I'm going to see this for 1952's clue line. Yeah. Okay. We've only found two clues from 1952. I'm surprised how many we found for uh, Mystery Man. Blackwood Pine Sanatorium opened 1922, Mansana Incorpora Obviously, all this debris and stuff is blocking our way, so we can't go over there. Oh, someone really wanted to take a peek inside. Got it. We got here. Clue found clocking in cards. Thirty clocking in mine cards.
a broken camera. I feel like if I find the most clues in this room. I don't even know what the hell that just was. Whatever it was didn't make me jump. <laughs> The Alberta Post, 9th of January, 1952. Reporter assaulted on Blackwood Mountain. Blackwood Pines, AB. A reporter from the Alberta Bugle was assaulted and hospitalized yesterday by security personnel at the Blackwood Sanatorium. Chuck Bernstein, a senior news reporter, was seeking an interview with the miners dramatically re rescued on Tuesday. The men had been trapped in the ground for over three weeks after a structural collapse of the Northwest Mine in December and are now being treated at Blackwood Sanatorium for malnutrition and trauma. Jefferson Bragg, sole proprietor of both the Northwest Mining Company and the Blackwood Sanatorium, told the Bugle yesterday that the incident was unfortunate and that a full internal inquiry had been launched. He also claimed that Bernstein had been trespassing on sanatorium grounds without permission. It is believed that the assault arose from an argument about Bernstein's camera, which was confiscated immediately prior to the attack. My darling Jefferson, we have all the time in the world. So this is in here. Okay, so we started that. Okay, so. Looked at that. Check the camera over there. Here we go. June 6, 19, June 6, June 1st, 1952, number 42, minor medical report. Attending physician, Dr. NHF Bowen. Medical report. Report follows response to the initial state of the 12 miners at the collapse of the mine and subsequent rescue at Blackwood Pines. Admittance on receipt of the 12 patients at the sanatorium's medical facility. We had fully expected to find emaciated shells of men, starved and confused. Thankfully, the miners appear cogent and relatively healthy. A attributed to their apparent discovery of emergency food supplies in the mine. Inhibited respiratory function was detected in a few of the older men as predicted, as well as symptoms of pneumonia. Psychologically, after being trapped for 23 days, the shock of reintegration had been difficult for some of the group. Their, their outward health is better than expected. They do seem affected by their time in the mine. Treatment. Due to the delicate nature of some of the patients, we have closed off the A wing of the sanatorium. Psychological evaluations will take place as soon as possible. The men with respiratory problems have undergone a bronchoscopy and are prescribed a course of streptomycin. The others are simply kept under strict 24-hour observation. Signed, Dr. Nicholas Henry Faldus Bowen. All right, let me, uh, we pick that back up again. Just something in the back. There was. One of these guys actually tried to bite me. I'm going to report it to Dr. Bowen.
There's definitely gonna be a jump scare here. Oh shit. Gross. <laughs> okay. Jump scare. No, an electric chair. Holy shit. Oh. What? Is that for... Yeah, it's part of 952. Okay. What happened here? Twisted fuckers like to watch, I guess. Okay, so... Totem. Very nice. Guidance totem. How many days will they keep us here? We got something in this room back here. Oh, hey, look. The other side of that mirror. Here we go. We got here. Reply immediately. Reporters and other snoopers to be kept away at all costs. Oh shit. Gee, Western gee, Province gee, Telecommunications Western Company Province Telegram. Um, Dr. Richard Castle, Blackwood Sanatorium, it's Mr. J. Bragg, incident update. 12 survivors received at sanatorium showing signs of mental trauma. Made to contain local press now have scent of blood. Becoming a problem, please advise further. So we can go down that way there. Well, this place just gets better and better.
shit on a shingle. Fucking hell. We really want to fall for that. Oh, okay. Ain't that charming? Okay, let's check this out. No body on this one. Name of deceased Sarah Smith, dated death February 24th, 1952. I hereby certify that I attended deceased from March 8th, 1951 to February 24th, 1952, and last saw her alive on February 24th, 1952. Cause of death, severe lacerations to the abdomen, intra-abdominal injuries, subsequent blood loss. If death was due to the external, due to external causes, violence, Fill in also the following, accident, suicide or homicide, homicide, manner of injury, laceration by sharp implement, possibly fingernails. Additional notes, please use the box provided a relief for any additional relevant information signed by N. Dillon, M.D. Address, Blackwood Sanatorium, date February 24th, 1952. Wait a second, I, I keep forgetting to like flip it over and see if there's anything else. Yeah. Additional notes, body was not discovered until six to eight hours after death. Sections of the intestine and kidneys were apparently eaten by the attacker. Anything on this one? We do, we have a toe tag. Emergency medical tag. Name Nicholas Bowen. Tag date February 24th, 1952. Description attack by inmate, fatal lacerations to throat. Okay. 